What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. It's Blackjack coming back at you today with Chapter 6 of Call of Cthulhu. Let's waste no time. Let's get right into the video. When we had left off, we had just gotten out of the mansion, or not the mansion, but we had just gotten out of the asylum. So, woke up in asylum, broke out, uh, met a friend there, and um, we'll see what happens. Cthulhu's been sifting through our mind a little bit every now and again. I think we were injected with some Cthulhu, so... <gasps> Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. Are we just chilling in here after all this happened? There's no police investigation going on about the fact that I was kidnapped or anything like that. It's a little bit, a little bit scary, I guess. But okay. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Wait, what? Th there are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? This guy is like a Cthulian at this point. I just made that word up, but he was shot and killed, wasn't he? Or am I tripping? Okay, yeah, we can't ask that. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? I mean, they were already crazy and no one would believe them, obviously. Plus the father's involved. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? How are we just casually having this conversation and I'm like, Bro, you were there. You shot a gun. And he's like, yeah, I don't remember that. And the doctor's like, okay. These two know each other pretty well. It's a tiny island. Everyone knows everyone. Especially since I'm a police officer and Marie's a doctor. The chemistry is obvious. I do seem a little bit stupid, don't I? <laughs> Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. 
The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh... Then what? I, uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. No, bro, I don't want to talk about something else. You're dead. You're literally dead. I want to test it. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This Bro, no you've sense. missed everything. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. It's not biased, it's me. And I know the truth. He's right. I we knew what happened. Ignore the truth. I was but there. It could drive her mad. Better madness than ignorance. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. The other night's events are still confused in my head. It's kind of crazy that this went from like, don't go in the mansion, it's really dangerous, to... Oh, we're just gonna sit here and have have some crumpets and tea until you come and see us, love. I can't. I mean, I can tell the wife that he died, but I'm not gonna say if I don't have to that he was picked up by invisible Cthulhu and thrown into a wall or anything. Obviously. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders? I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's here. Cat's gonna end up being like a huge help to me later you in this know game. Each other. We had a brief exchange. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. 
It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you're so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Don't mind if I just poke around. Did she really care for him, after all? The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? A house of artists. A house of artists. A house of artists. A house of artists. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell the painting? He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? She first refused to sell the painting. 
How did that make her feel? Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. A strange Amerindian pendant. I could use one of those. <laughs> I like how I just take everybody's medicine. Strange. Drug addict. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting. That we Finally knew. give it away for nothing. An old diary. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. Just punch her in the face I've again. got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I just want to be honest with her and tell her what I got. I'm not here to cause trouble, if that's what's worrying you. Worry me? Don't overestimate yourself. As I already told you, next time, I'll strike first. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. I don't even know what it's titled. transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Hmm. Oh, man. Put your pants on, boys. It's about to get real, I think.
What the hell was that? Back off, son. Got instantly killed there? What the hell was that? This thing before I go crazy inside here. Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. Thought I was about to kill it. What the hell was that? dagger in this room too. Maybe I gotta get both of them or something. Damn, maybe I can use this dagger. No way it saw me. Ha. It's blind. The only thing I can take I can think to do is take the daggers and stab them through the painting maybe.
apparently you don't need both of them. I'm just gonna make a beeline for the painting. Did I swap daggers? Or did I have the original one I picked up? I can't remember. I think I would have swapped them, right? I'll try the... But the enemy the starts on the that? right side of the room, so I imagine the dagger's probably on that side that I want. Because they wouldn't make it so easy as for me to just walk over here, grab the dagger, and then come back and smash painting. Or were there three daggers? Down. Maybe I can use this dagger. There's probably something that tells him which dagger can be used. Oh, we have a lot of points. Holy cow. Um, Can't return the body. There's no dagger in the photo. 
No dagger in the photo. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to get any clues as to what dagger we need. Should this happen, you just have to lay eyes upon it for a beam to anchor itself in your dimension, not to rip it. Okay. What the hell was that? Try this dagger again. Down, maybe I can use this dagger. I never got to try it the first time. Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? This is probably the one we need, and this isn't the one we have, but here we are. We'll let ourselves Damn die, it. and then we'll know this dagger for sure which ones we need. At least we know the data we need now. Uh. Sorry, I suck at this game. Everybody's probably so sick of watching this part. That? Let's 
let's just take a quick look at so we can remember exactly what we want. Oh, it doesn't count as us having it because it was behind. That's fine. So it, it definitely had like a double, like a circle in it, like a half circle type thing. So that's not it. That's not it. That might be the one right there. I think it's this one. Down. Maybe I can use this dagger. If it's not that one, it's not in this room. Well, at least know it's in the other room for sure. I don't think it... The more I remember what that one looked like, though, I don't think this is the right one. But we're already here. I mean, it looks Cthulhu-y, you know? It's got some, some tentacles and stuff, so... He's coming back over here. Yes, he is creeping. I wonder why it let me refill my my light if it wasn't even gonna be like useful for me. Really just sitting over there by the painting. Tentacle things. Stepping out to the main hall. If I can't get it on this try... What the hell was that? No, I gotta keep recording. I think my only option is probably to go left and into the other room. As much as I just want to like beeline. If 
you're watching, you are more than free to skip through this part until I figure it out. Make it be the right one. Damn it. Oh, tired of work. Oh, boy. Come on, man. What the hell was that? I don't even care if we get killed right here. I just need to see a picture of the dagger again. Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection? Okay. Or was he seeking to acquire it? That's our dagger, boys. Thank God. Look at him, he doesn't even know how to walk. I'm about to go insane just watching him try to walk. coming here isn't he run brother let me get it let me get it let me get it let me get it yes. get out of here bro Shambler. Gone. Done. Easy. Only took 25 tries.
I hope for the sake of those watching, you skipped that. What's the matter with you? Let me sure confess it to this girl. Hat? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. You knew. You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. gentlemen we will call it there I can't tell you how sorry I am if you just watched me do that 17 times or however many times it took I didn't know there was a specific dagger then I found out you needed the dagger picked the wrong dagger like three times got killed like four times even when I did pick a dagger that sucked but we did it. We conquered it. I hope for your sake you skipped it all. And you watched it one time like it was meant to be played. Thank you so much for watching. As always. Godspeed.